Welcome to Quick Time News, the time that I quickly tell the news. Yeah. First up, uh, YouTube Rewind came out. That's a thing. Worst dislike ratio of any of the rewinds so far. On track, so far, to possibly become the most disliked video on the platform. Fortnite Season 7 uh, came out. So that one's got planes and creative mode. Are those things you want? I don't know, I don't play Fortnite. Soldier Boy has released a game console, uh, supposedly with 3,000 built-in games. I don't know how he's doing this, because technically most of the games on there will fall under copyright laws, which I don't think he's allowed to publish them. He might get a cease and desist, so if he does actually release them, pick one up before they're taken off the shelves. Over in France, uh, police are having to deal with protesters, both students and the Yellow Jacket Union, I think they are. Uh, the students are protesting about how school is becoming ex expensive and stuff like that, and the Yellow Jackets are uh, looking at fuel prices and God of War won the Game of the Year award, so expect God of the War, God of the, God of War Game of the Year edition coming next year, I suppose. Also, for some YouTube news, uh, Logan Paul has joined the nine-year-old army, the nine-year-old PewDiePie army, facing off against T-Series, and PewDiePie is still winning. It's been three months now of a constant fight. It might actually make it to four, might actually make it into 2019 and that would be an accomplishment and a half considering they were expected to pass mid-September roughly so that'd be a huge effort to win it back. Uh, the list of top earning YouTubers has been released and uh, number one for this past year is Ryan's Toy Reviews. That's, that's new. <laughs> Seven year olds earning more than I'll ever earn in my life. The Avengers 4 title and trailer has been dropped by Marvel Entertainment just these past couple of days, uh, with the title being revealed to be Avengers Endgame. Good name, bad name, leave it in the comments if you want, I don't know. And for the final piece of news, we're going to talk about Bethesda and the stuff that they've been doing. So recently, uh, Bethesda has been caught up with their Fallout 76 controversies over and over and over again. Uh, so it came out at first that the game didn't run great in the beta. It's been fixed mostly for the main development in terms of server issues, but the game still has so many bugs that most people have run into them if you've been playing it. Uh, aside from that, it's also come out that the people that ordered the collector's edition weren't getting canvas bags. Now they can. However, on a note just to piss the people that didn't get their canvas bags off even more, people that were putting in their tickets online could view everyone's tickets, including all the personal information that everyone was linking to those tickets. So... Bethesda doxed... them fans? I mean... That's <laughs> one way to punish people. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's... the important news over the past couple of... days. Gonna make another one of these next Sunday. Uh, next Sunday's one may be a bit better because I'll actually write down news events rather than try and have to find them afterwards. So yeah, that is the news for the past week or so, roughly, I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, press all the buttons around the video if you want. Um, leave a comment of what you want me to review for my other shit next. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all later.